אוקיי. What we see on the screen is actually related to the CPI's consumer price index, and this is the way inflation is measured everywhere. We use an index of prices, and we can take each word from here and give it more uh, explanation. For example, we start with the C from consumer. Why should I put consumer there? because there are a lot of other instruments to measure prices. Can you give me an example? Last lecture. GDP, not, not the GDP. Sorry? An instrument or a variable that is really showing price evolution. Sorry? Cost? It was last week. It was called deflator. The GDP deflator is also a measurement for inflation. We use the GDP deflator to see how to make the adjustments from the nominal GDP to the real GDP. Okay, but now we, re we use the CPI, which is consumer price index, because we want to focus on prices that affect households. So this is the view. When we talk about inflation, please understand that we relate it mostly to the consumer. This is not actually everything because there are also uh, indexes for prices at factory level for, for companies or we have uh, indexes for stock prices, you know, for the stock markets. We have indexes for real estate markets, the prices for buildings or for apartments. This is also very important for economy. Everything <coughs> broadly gives me inflation perspectives, yeah? Real estate prices, stock market prices, everything can have something to do with inflation. But what we do here is focusing on consumer perspective, what the consumers are really feeling from inflation impact. Now the price is of course there, and why we have an index? Because we want to take a look at most of the prices that affect the households. And we already have a big difficulty here, a big problem. Are we buying usually the same things? What do you think? Is our life more or less the same? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, a lot of people here will say no. I mean, even if I make a list of what is your usual diet, what you eat for breakfast, what you eat for lunch, what you have for dinner, if you have dinner, I don't know, uh, or something like this, it will be very different. If I make a list, what would be your top priority for... Uh, summer as a big item to buy. I will find everything from a new mobile phone to a new uh, collection of shoes to, I don't know, a trip to what country, whatever. So you see people are different. People consume different things. So when I say consumer price index, which consumer I'm meaning actually? Will be Lucian, will be Victor, will be, I don't know, Anna. Who should I take as a consumer? Average. Average, very good. So inflation, CPI, it's not about all the prices. It's about an average view, an average perspective. And what we try to do is to, to build what is called the basket. You see the basket? The basket, uh, we use it in the supermarket, right? You, you, you take a basket and you put whatever there. And the methodology is like this. First, try an average basket that would be relevant for everybody, which means some of you are eating bread, some of you maybe don't not eat so much bread. But most of you will eat bread. Now, 
some will eat, I don't know, half a kilo a day, some will eat only a slice. But if I make adjustment like, I don't know, 200 grams per day, I'm somewhere in between, I'm somewhere in this average. Which means in this basket, there will be bread for sure, because this is a common product, even there are a lot of exceptions for sure, and there will be a quantity of bread that is including I don't know, is relevant for everybody, even for those that eat a lot, and even for those that eat not so much. Okay, good. So this is the basket. What we do next? We make a plan to collect the prices for the items from the basket. So if I put in my uh, basket bread, then I have to decide what kind of bread I'm meaning, because there is uh, white bread, brown bread, uh, sweet bread, uh, salted bread, unsalted bread, uh, a lot of things and uh, you have to find the uh, items that will fit most of the profiles good once you have these items yeah standard white bread i don't know with, with some uh, basic um, features you will make a plan where to look for the prices and this is geographical you want to cover the whole ter territory, and you'll say, in, I don't know, you take a sample of 100, 200 cities and smaller villages where you collect the data, then you find in each city, you need to find more shops, and then you have to go to these shops and check the price for this product. What is missing? The time perspective. How often do you go to check for the prices? And this is also set. Okay, once we agree on these things, we can calculate the cost of this basket. Now, how much, on average, this typical basket that includes bread for sure, I told you, it will include some mobile phone services for sure, it will include some uh, shelter, for example, everybody needs a home, needs somewhere to sleep, it will include meat, milk, uh, sweet things, transportation, energy, without energy, I, I mean, it's very hard to imagine, like water, gas, a lot of things, and uh, I will show you maybe more details in the future. And w once we have this, we can go to the next step.